We're still working on probability. This one has a spinner on it, though. So this one states, using the spinner below, we are to find the probability that the spinner stops on an even number or a number greater than 5. And we have to write our answer as a decimal and round it to the nearest thousandth. So when we're dealing with probability, it is the number of desired outcome divided by the total number of possibilities. So on this one, we want even either an even number, so we've got an even number 2, 4, 6, 8, or a number that's greater than 5. So greater than 5, that would be a 6, but we've already used 6. Um, 7 would be 1. So we've got to look at this. So I've got 2, 4, 6, 8. That's 4 of them. Then this 7 is the only other option we have, so that's going to be 5. So our desired ones, we're going to have 5 of them possible out of this. Uh, we're not going to use 6 or 8, only because we already counted them in even numbers. Uh, so technically we're going to use them, we've already used them, but uh, so we're going to have 5 desired divided by the total number available which is 8. So it's 5, it can occur 5 different times over the total number of outcomes which is 8. Uh, so we can write that as a fraction, that would be 5 eighths. However on this one we're asked to write it as a decimal and round it to the nearest thousandth, thousandth being 3 decimals. So that would give us 0.625 is going to be our answer on this one.